Hey, it's Holly. Today's video is a really, really cool playset that I am so excited to have in my collection. It is the 1991 Pull Out Playhouse. Um, this is effectively, I think, just a giant jewelry box, um, which at the same time doesn't necessarily store a ton, but uh, I had no idea that this existed when I was a kid, so I'm really excited to get my hands on it. I just love all of the detail on it. Anyway, I can't wait to show you around, so let's get started. Okay, today's video is the 1991 Pull Out Playhouse and I am so excited to be holding this in my hands. I've been wanting this basically the entire time I, since I've been re-collecting Polly Pockets and here it is. I was waiting to find one complete because these are hard to find complete in the sense that they're often like faded or broken or missing stuff. So. Um, I'm happy to report this one is not. So this is effectively like a jewelry case or it's kind of similar to a caboodle, um, which if you're not familiar with what a caboodle is, a caboodle is a specific brand of beauty case. Actually, oh my gosh, I have one here. I am just gonna walk away and get it while I'm <laughs> talking to you over the video. Um, but they're effectively these cases that were popular in the 90s. I used to use this for my poly cleaning supplies and then I outgrew this. Uh, but this is a caboodle, as you can see, very poly pocket themed. Um, they still make these. This is actually a newer one, but it's, I think, supposed to kind of be like that idea. Um, it can also double as a jewelry box of sorts. So um, that's kind of what's going on here with this particular set. So this opens up, um, but I will say just from the get-go as we're looking at the outside, beautiful flowers. This is uh, painted on and then also at the top here. And the back is plain, um, but it does have a flower handle on it. So when you find these online, uh, oftentimes some of the flower handles are broken off. Um, and the other thing that's really common is that the back is missing. So this is a door that opens up and typically that's missing. So let's start here actually. So this is a little door that opens. Oh, I forgot it locks. So you turn it this way and it opens. You can see there's a mechanism here. So when I turn that, it would have it in the locked position, but two shelves where you can keep trinkets, whatever you happen to keep in here and then shut. So that way when you're carrying it, it doesn't fly open. And let's go ahead and start opening this up. So the top is a mirror. So there's a mirror in there, followed by layers of the actual playset itself. Um, you can see this one has a really nice logo on it, which is beautiful. Um, we're gonna come back to this in half a second. I just wanted to show you the bottom. So there is a drawer in the bottom that has our pieces. And if you saw my recent cataloging video, then you probably know that these are sealed and I'm not gonna be opening them up. So um, this is as much of the <laughs> what comes in this set video that I'm gonna give you today because I'm not gonna take them out to take individual pictures. I wanna keep them in here and it's, it's taped shut, so I don't wanna open it up. Uh, but it comes with four figures, as you can see in the blister pack here. They are in mint condition, and I'm pretty excited about that. So that is the uh, figures that come with the set. Um, so you can see that there's a midge. We also have uh, Polly and then two other figures. One has a towel on her head, and then the other is just wearing a very boring outfit, in my opinion. But um, I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. But that is the set. So uh, bottom drawer here is quite generous. You could fit a lot of stuff in there in terms of especially kids jewelry, you could fit quite a bit in there. Um, if you were using this to store makeup, you could probably put a few things in there as well. So that's the bottom. We'll open this back up and we'll get into the play set itself. So here is 
the playset. So effectively these all just kind of pop out and I find it really interesting because <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be played with, but you'll see when I get here um, that these all swing out. And then inside there is another tray so you could keep more stuff in here. So again, it would be great if you kept things like little rings or hair accessories in here, necklaces. Um, it really, you could store quite a bit in this set. So my understanding is you would probably play with it somewhat <laughs> like this. It's a bit awkward um, to have everything out at once and you can't really do it. So if I have this fully extended, there is a flower here so you can kind of cover that. But if I want the whole swimming pool to be accessible, uh, which is about there, it's kind of covering the bed. So not a perfect uh, science. On this side, it's a little bit better. You can have access to the kitchen and eating area, but then also access to this for the most part. So the side functions a little bit better, but if you play with it this way, again, you're losing the ability to access some of the rooms. So just a bit awkward. So let's go through one by one. Uh, we'll start on the left and then come back to the right side. So over on the left in the first layer here, we have a swimming pool and uh, sort of just a lounging scene. So um, I'm gonna say swimming pool, but it's probably a hot tub. There is a mat here that has what looks to be, I'm gonna say a water bottle maybe next to it. You be the judge and a pair of sandals. There's a slide that goes down here and some stairs to stand here. A cactus, which is really cute and more stairs, lots of stairs to another lounge chair with a book next to it. So then the other layer has this floral detail again, because it would likely be covered up and then in here we have a shower pan. I believe that is supposed to be, maybe it's supposed to be a bathtub. It looks like a shower to me though. Um, a toilet, thank goodness there is a toilet in here. And then there's a bed, a sink. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, maybe some records, I don't know. Oh, is there buttons on it? Oh, suitcases. There are supposed to be suitcases. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. Um, a dresser with some knickknacks on top and a little, what I would presume is probably a trash bin and some more stairs, more stairs, stairs everywhere. Now it looks like I haven't actually played with this, so we're gonna explore it together. Oh, it's a trundle bed. Um, if you haven't heard that term, a trundle bed is when you have a bed that pulls out from under a bed. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. Okay, that is really cute. So you can get the feel that it's kind of like a holiday home. Um, at least that's what I'm getting from it. Okay, so that's what happens on that side. So let's explore the other side, see if we find anything cool over there. So we'll open this one up. All right, so over here we have, oh, that appears to be a barbecue with some meat on it. Looks like there's some steaks and then a little set over there. Uh, this is the eating area, so table setting for four and a plant, more stairs, lots of stairs. <laughs> this appears to be a living room with a television. Yeah, that's a television, a remote control, a telephone, and a really interesting looking sofa. And then if we bring this one out. I'm just going to fold this one away for now. This one appears to be a kitchen and I think there's some moving pieces in here by the looks of it. So again, there's that flower detail, more stairs. This looks almost like it's supposed to be a pet bed, but I don't think this came with any pets. So that's interesting. Um, and then a fridge, a sink and an oven with a stove. This looks like it swings down. Oh, it does. Oh, they're baking something in the oven. You can't take it out, but it looks like they are making some muffins or cupcakes or something. I love that. That's a really, really neat um, 
feature and I don't know if the fridge opens. It looks like it does, but then on further inspection, I don't think it does. It just looks like it. So that's cool. Um, interesting. I don't recall a pet being part of this, so I'm literally just going to get up my phone and look that up right now. Um, so that is the set. It's really interesting to me, um, the way that they've put it together. And I, I find, <laughs> I find the stairs quite funny because I'm not sure that you can, I'm all about logistics here, but you can't really like line the stairs up in a way that would make, oh, maybe there, maybe sort of there. It still doesn't line up perfectly and I hate that, but maybe like that. Um, let's try the other side. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay, like sort of. Yeah, again, the issue for me is that then this whole section is completely covered when you have the stairs line up. So I get that like in a real house that it would function that way, but um, yeah. So no, it's just the four figures that came with the set. So there is no um, animal that comes with it. So I guess if you've got them in another set, you could use that. That looks like a dog bed to me. So I'm gonna go with dog bed or cat or something. Um, but that is it. So we found the storage compartment. We found the cupboard at the back. We found the drawer. We found, uh, what else is in the action here? Trundle bed, oven door, and that's it. Yeah. So those are all of the features of this particular playset. So it's pretty cool. I'm quite happy to have this in my collection. I just, I love um, how interesting it is. I would, I do wish that it lined up better, but I think I'm just being neurotic. So um, I wouldn't say that that's actually a fault of this playset. You can play with it however you like, but um, that is the 1991 pull out playhouse and I am going to put these ladies back in here so I don't lose them. So let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing about this particular set. All right, what was your favorite thing about the pull-out playhouse? I mean, for me, I'm just excited to have one that doesn't have missing knobs. It really is such a problem. Um, almost every time I found one for sale, it was either missing knobs or missing the door or sun damaged or missing the figures. So um, when the opportunity came for me to pick this up, I picked it up really quickly. So um, it's always nice to buy things off collectors as well. Uh, one of my tips would be that if you are looking to get into collecting Polly Pockets, join some of the Facebook groups um, because collectors tend to price things a little bit nicer for other collectors. eBay can be a little bit price gougy, I'll be honest, um, but sometimes that might be the only place that you find something. So, uh, but if you are getting into collecting, do join the Facebook groups. Just look up Vintage Polly Pockets. There's a lot of them, but I've just joined the larger ones myself and I find that that's the easiest way to start connecting with people and uh, making some friends in that community. So um, that would be my main suggestion. If you're on social media, please come follow along on social media. I am on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. You'll find me there. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button. It really does help out the channel so much. And I'm bringing out new videos every Monday and Thursday. So I have so much more to show you still, even though we've done quite a few videos now, I'm amazed when I go back and I look at the catalog. Um, it's kind of wild how much time I've dedicated to this, but I do it for you. I really appreciate, I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for being here. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.